Hey guys, it's Joe from PocketNow.com. One of the cool things about Android is the ability to customize the look and feel, really everything that is your Android, just by changing out the launcher app. And that's as simple as going to the market, and downloading and installing one. Well, in the past, we've shown you ADW Launcher, which is an open source, just really cool, really fast launcher based on the, uh, the Nexus One launcher, and it's really nice. We recently saw a technology demo that was just insane with page transitions and just all kinds of cool stuff. Well, today, that technology demo is in an actual launcher, and that launcher is ADW Launcher EX. Let's go take a look. <laughs> So I've shown you an awful lot of launchers in the past, and this is yet another one. Now, this is similar to one that I've shown you in the past, and it's one that, that is similar to what comes stock with CyanogenMod. So if you guys are running CyanogenMod out there, you're probably familiar with ADW Launcher, which is an open source launcher, and that's one of the reasons why it's included with CyanogenMod. My other favorite is called Launcher Pro, and they both have benefits. They both have advantages and disadvantages. Well, one of the biggest disadvantages with ADW Launcher has been its settings. And really, that's because there are just so many of them. Well, you'll notice here a little simplified version of, uh, of that. No longer do we have a launcher settings and a phone settings. Now it's all incorporated into one universal settings. To get to phone settings, you tap on that and then come into phone settings. So one step away to get to your phone settings, but for everything else, here are all of your nice and iconically representative menus that you can go into and change uh, for the launcher itself. Now, this launcher is called ADW Launcher EX, and a while back we showed you a really, really cool uh, technology demo that showed some cool page transitions. Well, a lot of those are now included in this presets. Presets lets you come in here and change it to something default, the way that it comes stock from Android Web, and uh, iPhone-ish, Nexus-ish, and fast. If you've got a slower phone, you want to choose fast because, well, this is a fast launcher. Well, if you've got a fast phone like I do, this is the T-Mobile G2, you don't need that, and you can take advantage of some of the, uh, the more whiz-bang stuff. So let's go back and talk about a couple things really quickly. Okay, you ready for this? First and foremost, you have this nice thumbnail preview just by touching the home button from any one of the screens it will show you all of the screens. In this case, it comes stock with five and I've been able to uh, up it to seven. I've got a couple of blank screens in here and I have those there primarily just for padding. Um, it doesn't take up any more memory or slow your phone down to have them there as long as they're empty. And it's nice to have a place to drop a, a widget or uh, some stuff when I'm doing videos for you guys. So you may want to stick with five or three or one or whatever suits you. It's customizable. They can be rearranged, which is something new to this version. And that's a really big feature, being able to move, say, this screen down here, that screen over there, change which one is your default screen by painting it there. Very, very nice. I mean, that right there is worth the upgrade. But you can go right to the screen by tapping. Now, the second thing that you're going to notice is this looks an awful lot like the Nexus S, which is running Gingerbread, what with all of the little green hinted icons. And in fact, we can uh, you know, come over and look at other stuff, and, and I'm kind of showing off the, uh, the next feature that I'll get to, which is the page transitions. But before we go too far, this theme with these icons, which goes a little bit further, you know, it goes into... Uh, your dialog boxes, it goes into your app drawer, uh, and all kinds of stuff. But it's a theme. This does not come stock with a launcher. In fact, this theme costs 99 cents. It's available in the market. And uh, I forget the name of it. It's a, an ADW uh, Nexus S theme, I believe. Um, and, and all it does is it lets you select a theme that then applies these various rules. And it makes this, which is still Froyo, look like, in this case, gingerbread, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't have to install a half-baked version of Gingerbread on my phone to make it look like it. I can get the best of both worlds by doing it this way. Now, the reason that I bring that up is, one, it's really cool. Not only can you customize your launcher, but you can also theme it. And that's been around a while. But the reason I bring it up now is, this is an entirely new version of the launcher. I mean, it, it's not quite from the ground up, because it's based on the ADW uh, launcher open source core, but it is a radical new version. It is not free. In fact, it costs about three and a half dollars in the Android marketplace, and it's well worth it in my opinion. 
Uh, but it works with all of the old themes that are out there for the old version of the launcher. So if you've got a collection of themes that you've purchased or downloaded before, don't worry, they should work just fine. So really cool. Next, I want to show you just because you guys are going to ask. This is Beautiful Widgets by Level Up Studio. And uh, you'll notice over here I've got a Nexus S theme on that as well. So I get the nice hint of green in there. So I know you guys are going to ask. So there you go. Uh, this is a calendar widget and I've just chosen a, uh, a green header on that to make it look green. But let's get to the really good stuff, okay? Switching between screens. I'm going to just tap and drag, and if you notice, can you see this? This screen, the, the default screen, is kind of getting smaller and it's fading out that way, where the new one is getting bigger and it's kind of rotating in from the other way. Can you see how cool that transition looks? That's my favorite, but let's look and see what some of the others are. Now this, of course, takes some 3D processing and, uh, you know, it's it can get pretty hefty. So if you find that your phone isn't as um, isn't as fast as you'd like it to be, choose, choose a, a, a different way to do it that's a little bit nicer uh, on your phone. Of course, you'll want to choose whatever works best for you. So this is in general behavior. We go into settings and then general behavior and then animation and effects. Now these don't have any uh, any names really. So let's go into screen transition effect and I'm on effect 4. Now what is that? You don't know. Uh, I'm hoping a next version will, uh, will come out with some names for these things uh, and maybe the developer will hold some kind of a contest to name them. Uh, who knows? Um, of course Submit your recommendations uh, to the developer and, uh, and perhaps you'll get some, uh, some kudos in the credit or uh, a free copy of the software. Who knows? Anyway, so normal scroll is normal scroll. It's the, the default behavior. It's probably one of the fastest ways if you have a slower phone. Effect 1 is kind of cool, so let's do that. We'll tap there. We'll go home. And now to switch between them. Okay, to swap between them, you just tap and slide. And you can see this has kind of a, a rotating effect. We'll just go through a couple of those pages so you can see it. And it's really quick. I've got widgets, I've got icons, I've got all kinds of stuff on there. And it just kind of folds in like you're looking at uh, sides of a cube from the inside. But let's not delay. Let's go ahead and check out another one. So back to general behavior. And again, doing this on a flat table, sometimes the taps don't work, but that's uh, that's because of the orientation that I have it, not because of the phone or the theme uh, or the launcher itself. So back to transition effect, let's go to effect two and we'll just kind of buzz through these really quick so you can see them. This one kind of explodes and fades out and the other one zooms and fades in. A little bit slower on this transition, but that's more for effect than anything else. So let's go back into our general behavior, animation and effects, transition, effect three, and there are a whole bunch of them. And I'm not gonna go through all of them, but just to give you an idea, this is kind of one of the more intense ones you grab on and it rotates that out of the way and it rotates the new one in. You can kind of see the side of it over there. So really cool. Now, I'm gonna set this back to four just so you can see where I was before, which again is general behavior, animation and effects, and transitions and back to number four. For the others, you're going to have to go out and grab a copy of this from the marketplace. You can see how this is really quick and kind of has a, a nice bouncy effect when I land on it. So just really cool. Now, of course, if you want to try this, the Android market now has a, a more limited trial feature. It's down to just 15 minutes. So if you're going to try it, download, try it. And, uh, and if you don't like it, go ahead and ask for a refund. And you do that by uninstalling it. Uh, it's really not that bad, but we're down to 15 minutes instead of a full day to be able to do it. Once you try this on your device, I don't think you're going to want to return it. It's really nice, it's really fast, and this has now become my stock launcher. In fact, um, you know, for, for three and a half dollars, I think uh, US trans, uh, you know, currency translation rates it was three dollars 33 cents. Uh, of course, that may vary depending on what the, uh, the currency exchange rates are and whatnot. The theme is 99 cents, and it's really worth it. I mean, for for less than five bucks, you've got a customized phone that you can do all kinds of stuff that your friends' phones 
can't do or can't do until they get the app. Really cool. I like it a lot. I would recommend you go out and get it, but I'm interested in your thoughts. What do you think? Have you tried ADW Launcher? Have you tried ADW Launcher EX, which is what this one is? Do you like it better or worse than Launcher Pro? Is there another launcher that you like better than these? Or are you the kind of person that just likes the stock launcher and doesn't want to make any changes? And if so, why? What advantages does that give you? We want to know. Leave that in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed to our video channel yet, make sure you do that. In fact, we've got a whole bunch of videos that focus just on the T-Mobile G2 or use them as our spokes model, as the case may be. So make sure you subscribe and catch up on all the stuff that you may have missed. So showing off ADW Launcher EX for Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.